Hey guys, welcome to the Polish Bearded Fisherman channel. My name is Zbigniew. I actually go by Bishop just to make it easier on people. And today I'm going to be doing a review of Monster Bass Ox from the Northeast region. It's actually the October box, so I actually just received it today. Um, I know for a fact that in this box, there's one lure that Monster Bass itself is going to be releasing next year. So I get to try it out before people get to try it out in the stores. Well, let's get to it. So I think I'll leave the new lure for 2021 for last, maybe. So let's go and see. As you guys have seen in other videos, these boxes, you know, come with writing information on them, pearls from the tips. There's always a sticker. The sticker today is pretty cool. Hey, it looks almost like me. I do usually have a longer beard, but because of COVID and because I love my family, I decided to shave it off. So this is an Alex Rudd fishing sticker. Uh, this is Alex Rudd. Pretty cool. Um, also in the box, you get a catalog with what you have for baits and how much they cost. Um, also on the back, it has a new early renewal bonus. So for three months, you will get a five pack limited edition swim baits. For six months, you get five packs of Hendrick Prog and a five pack limited edition swim baits. If you do a 12 month, it's a 5 pack of Hendrick Frogs, 5 pack limited edition swim baits, and a $25 store gift card. Not bad. Um, according to this, the swim baits are the $75 MSRP, and uh, Hendrick Frogs would be $30 MSRP. Um, so, guys, if you actually do have the you had the box and you want to go back to actually um, contact their support at support at monsterbass.com and let them know that you want to do an early renewal bonus. All right, and as you guys know, inside the box, it shows you for each season what bait you should be using, and also you can mark your personal best. So, let's get going with the, yes, yeah, so the first one I want to go over is the Reaction Strike XM RM, RM80 Limited Edition. There you guys go. So, it's a custom pattern. I just do want to let you guys know I'm... Only recently this year got into using top water lures, swim baits, and stuff like that. I usually fish regular fishing where I use live bait, worms, shiners, whatever is in the water I can catch. But this is sick. This is a sick lure. Look at that custom pattern on there. Nice red and white on the belly. Um, this baby. The XRM80, the three and a half inch, 0.65 ounce, and it dives to about two to four feet. So this is a limited edition color. It's actually pretty cool. Um, just to give Rick at Monster Bass a head warning, every bait that's in this box, I am going to review. And um, one part of the review is I am very honest. As I said, this is my first year of fishing these type of baits. And my criteria for reviews is they have to get casted at least 20 times. And within those 20 casts, I have to catch fish. So that's the first one, the Reaction Strike XRM80. Um, MSRP for that baby. The MSRP for that is nine dollars. 
Not bad, not bad. The next one is, is a striking thunder cricket in green pumpkin. It has a featuring jungle flipping hook. So far, these two baits that I have in here right now will work great in, this, in Connecticut waters. As you guys can see, you know, but if I put something else on here to go with it, maybe a worm or a tail, this baby is a $14. $14 lure. I've used these a couple of times. I'm not that great at them yet, but as I said, I'm in here to learn like anybody else. That is a striking. Um, doesn't have, and it's a half an ounce. Um, the next one we have here is a Vicious Fishing MC65. Length two and a half. Weight 12, um, half an ounce, dives that 48 feet. Um, you have a lot of places you can fish here in Etiquette. So I have big lakes, big rivers, especially Connecticut River. So many a bass on the Connecticut River. Here's the lure, beautiful colors. Um, bluegill, yeah. I've seen guys right on this. is sick. I've definitely seen guys catch bass on bluegills out here. Actually, using smoke bluegills for bait for bass, for bait for pike. Because you guys know up here we have northern pike. So yeah. So vicious fishing is an eight dollar. Now. I guess I should give you guys, show you guys the monster bass. This is the monster bass lure. It's called the hammerhead. It is a bluegill. It's a square bill crankbait. Two and three quarters in length. One third ounce. So this, according to Rick, will not be available in, in stores until next year. 2021. It's a bluegill. Awesome colors on it. Um, I was reading it earlier. It actually uses the uh, hammerhead comes armed with Japanese made katana hooks and premium paint schemes. So, yeah, babies are definitely nice and sharp. Beautiful colors on this baby. Look at that. That's a nice rattle. I'll definitely be checking this out. Um, if, if the weather holds up, for us here, I will definitely be going out tomorrow to fishing, so I will definitely be taking this box with me. Now inside the box, we they also sent and uh, let's see, Monster Bass Lure is going to be eight dollars, so that's not bad. Also in cooler is Spirit Point Performance Hooks, uh, two ounce, the uh, two out, three out, and then four out. Four out. There it is. So as you guys can see, it's a different design of a hook. This actually here is designed to keep the fish on the hook, so the mouth or the gap of the mouth goes right here when he's hooked, and you're supposed to not be able to lose him. That's what the V grip is for. So on the back it says our black nickel finish hook was designed with the laws of physics in mind. Spear point performance hooks patent P V grip technology forces the fish into the V of the hook, which holds the fish in place, delivering increased landing ratios. We have to try it out. To see how this does. It'd be cool if these guys can make these kind of hooks for um live bait like Worms and shiners. You something you're saying? Striped bass. Um. Next, those hooks, spear hooks, at three dollars or a dollar a piece. 
That was about right. Then we have Bama Bates. Bama Bates. Infused with Bama Fuel. And of course, 75 for a pack. And then the one thing I love about Monster Bass is they don't cheat, cheat you out of Bates. I have um Mystery Taco Box. I have Lucky Taco Box. And usually when you have plastics like this, worms, crow baits, you had like one or two in the bag, three at most. These guys give you the full pack. Um, let me open this one up. Oof. All right. Smells. See the, I don't know if you guys can see the flake in the blue. This works great up here. Um, I've used these before years ago on private lakes and called monster bass on these. So definitely we'll be trying this out tomorrow. Um, the next one I have here is Madia Baby River to Sea. It's a crow. It's a crow to Sea Fat Alice for the pack. Ultra Dora's Creature Bait. Guys, you know, in the comments below, if you got tips from me on how to use these or ideas. Because actually, it looks like. Again, the black with the blue flake looks great. Maybe even use one of those hooks that we got there and just throw that baby out, out there. We'll see. That said, the uh, River to Sea Mad, Mad, yeah, baby Ultra Double Creature Bait is $5. And this. And least off, we have Bruce Bates, fish the best made in the USA. Rick always says he likes to work with companies in the, United States, in the USA, which is awesome. Keep the business here in the States. Keep people working. So, Crazy Crow 6 Com Bammer Hammer. Uh, usually they got some kind of truth on them. So, put this on the Thunder Cricket. It'll actually work great. Actually, I will catch more pike with this than I probably would catch bass, but I could be wrong. Um, Sammy, so smells like Italian seasoning almost. Not a bad, bad idea, I guess, if you say so. Um, it also comes with 20% of website of website use called MB Crazy Crawl. So if you guys want to go on their bruiserbaits.com and use this code and you get 25% off. 20% off their website, sorry. Um, and this goes for four dollars. All together. I think it's a great box for the month of October. Um Rick, I told him that. I will be checking his box out this month and using it on my YouTube video. So my next video will be me fishing these. As I said, for the review of any of the baits, I have to cast them 20 times. If they catch a fish, great. If not, well, maybe I'm doing something wrong and you guys can critique me and tell me what to do better or how to better rig them. I am open to learning and suggestions. So until next time, guys, have a great one.